Hey, what's up guys? My name is DJ Beneficial and today I'm going to teach you how to live stream your DJ sets with OBS on Zoom. I should say the new and improved way because there's new features that have come out in Serato and OBS that have made this process so much easier and better than it was before. So I'm going to break that down for you guys today. If you're interested in learning more helpful information about DJing and live streaming, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to show me some love on Twitch, I'll put my Twitch information right here and I'll put the link in the description as well. Now that we said all that, let's jump right in. DJ Beneficial! What?! All right, so once you've opened OBS, you wanna make sure that you're on the latest version. And as you can see right here, it says I'm on 26.1.2. You can also get that information on the OBS tab. If you click on About OBS, it'll tell you right here. Now, if you are on an older version and you need to update, or even if you're not sure, just go ahead and click on Help and go down here to Check for Updates. And as you can see, I'm up to date, but if you weren't, it would let you know right then it's time to get the latest version. So if you need to, go ahead and update your OBS, close it and reopen it. And then once you come back in, you're gonna see a new feature down here over under controls called Start Virtual Camera. So go ahead and click on that. Now what that's gonna be doing for you is whatever's in your layout right here on your OBS screen is now gonna be available as an input source in another application like Zoom, for example. So this is how you get everything that's going on in your OBS into your Zoom. Now over here in Serato, you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you're on the latest version for the same reason, the new feature that you wanna use just came out in a recent update. So what we're gonna do is click on the gear over here in the top right, and then scroll over here to the bottom left, and as you can see, it tells you what version you're on. I'm currently on 2.4.5. So if you're not up to date or if you just want to make sure, go ahead and click on check for updates. Now, if you are up to date, this is what it's going to tell you. But if you're not, it's going to tell you that it's time to update. So same thing as before, just go ahead and update your Serato, close it and reopen it. And then come back over here, go back into settings and click on the audio tab this time. Now you're going to see you have this audio output feature available where you can make your audio available to other applications like Zoom, for example. But to do this, you have to install the I Show You Audio Capture. So this blue text, it's actually a link. Go ahead and click on that. That'll take you right where you need to go. Just scroll down a little bit. Right here under installing the VAD, as you can see, there's an option for Mac and an option for Windows. Since I'm a Mac user, I'm gonna click on how to install the I Show You Audio Capture. And that takes you right here, and you have two options to choose from, Download, Installer, or Catalina Go here. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I think Download Installer is if you're on Big Sur, but you shouldn't be on Big Sur yet anyways, because I know as of the date of this video, it's not compatible yet with Serato. So with the rest of us, we're going to click on Catalina Go here. And as you can see, whether you have Catalina or Mojave, either one, this will work for you. And just go ahead and click the Downloader. Go ahead and install that to your computer. Now, I've already done this, so I don't need to install it again. But, you know, just go ahead and install that to your computer and close and reopen your Serato. And now you're gonna be able to check this box. Now, one thing that is important to know, every time you close your Serato and reopen it, it automatically unchecks this box. So don't just think you can jump back in your Serato, go and live stream, because you're gonna have no audio. You wanna make sure that every time you reopen your Serato, you check this box again. It's very important. All right, so real quick, back to OBS. So let's say you're done designing your layout, you've added your background, you've added your camera source, you've added your overlay, and you're almost ready to go. You just need to add your audio. Right down here under sources, we're gonna add an audio input capture. And let's call this one Serato Audio. Now when you go to pick your device, you're gonna see the I Show You Audio Capture is an available source. So go ahead and select that, then press OK. So now what's happening is your audio is being sent directly from your Serato to your OBS without you needing to run any cables from your mixer going out to an audio input capture device to get it back in your computer. You don't need to do that. You don't need to iRig. That whole step in the process is now no longer necessary. Now that we covered all that, let's go ahead and get all of this incorporated into our Zoom. All right, now once you have Zoom opened, we're gonna start a new meeting by clicking on the orange camera icon. And when you get the little pop-up window that wants to join with your computer audio, just go ahead and join. Over here in the bottom left corner of the screen, you're gonna see a microphone icon and a camera icon, both that have a little arrow next to it. Go ahead and click on the little arrow next to the camera icon. That will take you to your camera settings. 
Now, if you have any other webcams or any other video sources connected to your computer, they will also show up here as an available source. You can use whichever one you like, but for today's video, we're gonna select the OBS virtual camera. And as you can see now, we have our OBS running inside of Zoom. And we also wanna change the audio settings. So head over to the microphone and click on the little arrow next to the microphone. That will take you to your audio settings. And we're gonna go over here to the top where it says select the microphone and we're gonna pick the I show you audio capture. So now we have our video running from OBS and our audio running from Serato both incorporated into our Zoom meeting. So this is what your audience is gonna see. Next thing you gotta do is invite your guests. So head down to the bottom right here under participants, click on the arrow, and then we're gonna click invite. Now that you're here at the invite menu, you can either invite your contacts or you can blast it out with your email. But what I want you to notice is over here in the bottom left corner, you have two options, copy invitation or copy invite link. They're pretty similar, just a small difference and I'll show you really quick. Copy invitation, I'm gonna paste that in my web browser and you're gonna see here it says join Zoom meeting and then has the link. So that's what the difference is. If you go over here to just copy invite link Paste that in your web browser and hit return. It's gonna take you right to the Zoom meeting. So that's really up to you. I just wanted to show you that there's a little difference there. All right, now let's say you want all of your guests to have the information and have the link before you even get started. You wanna go over here and hit schedule. That will open up your scheduling window. Under topic, that's basically the title for your event. So you can rename that to Brittany's Birthday Bash or DJ Workshop or whatever information that pertains to your event. Date and time is pretty straightforward. It's just the date and time you're gonna start and the date and time you're gonna finish. Under security, you wanna make sure that waiting room is checked in. What that does is allows people to sign in before you start your broadcast, puts them in a waiting room so that way from the moment you start your broadcast, everybody's already there with you instead of starting your broadcast and waiting for people to trickle in. So in my opinion, I'd rather leave that one checked in. That's up to you though. And video, you're definitely gonna to wanna to have host on. Now as for participants, you have the option of on or off. Now if it's off, they're only gonna be able to see whatever it is that you're displaying from your OBS. If you have it on, then they get that social view where they can see all the other people that are in the chat room. So that one's really up to you if you want everyone to be able to see each other or not. Under calendar, you have the option of iCal, Google Calendar, and other calendars. I'm gonna leave it on Google Calendar. And you're definitely gonna to wanna to look at these advanced options. So the first one is allow participants to join anytime. You definitely want that. You want them to be able to come in. And mute participants upon entry. I would also check that one too because some people will come in, they're gonna have their speakers on and their microphone on and it can create feedback that everyone's gonna hear. It's really annoying. So just make sure everybody's muted if they wanna come in. And automatically record meeting on the local computer. That one's up to you if you want to create a backup of your event and just record everything that happened. And this other one, approve or block entry for users from specific countries or regions. That one's up to you as well. I'll let you decide if you need that one or not. Once you have everything set up the way you want, go ahead and click save. This will automatically open your calendar. So since we're using Google Calendar, it's gonna automatically open your Google Calendar. Now, if it's your first time here, you're gonna to have to allow permissions. So just keep that in mind. Just go ahead and click allow. I've already done so, so it just took me right in. And the most important thing to do here is to do your notification, to put whatever amount of time that you need. You can change it from 30 to any number that you want. And you can either have it be minutes, hours, days, or weeks. So you can really give yourself as much time as you need. You can even add additional notifications if you need to do so. Right down here is the message that's gonna go out to your guests. So you can change that up and make it a little bit more personal if you like, but it just automatically generates a default invitation message to the Zoom meeting. And once you have it all set up the way you like it, go ahead and click save. Now we've successfully saved the event it's right down here automatically in your calendar, but you can always double click on it and go right back into it if you needed to change something. Let's say you wanted to add another notification or something like that. Just go ahead and change whatever you want. Go ahead and click save again. Now let's head back over to Zoom. And you can see right down here, I got a Zoom meeting coming up in 10 minutes. 
So I can go ahead and start that whenever I'm ready, even if it's before or after the start time, it doesn't start until you hit the start button. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we are connecting. Now it looks like it is doing the joint audio thing again. So you just want to make sure that your audio is always where it should be. But now that I'm double checking, it looks like it is still on the I show you audio capture. So we're good. So now we've scheduled the meeting. We're all set up in here and connected. All of our guests are in here. Everyone's partying, have a good time. You're all set. And whenever you're done, just go ahead and click end over here and end meeting for all. Also, you can always delete it if you decide you wanna cancel your event. Just go ahead and delete it. But make sure you also go back to your iCalendar and delete the event over there as well. If you learned something new today, be sure to hit that subscribe button below because I am gonna be uploading more videos like this with helpful information that's gonna benefit your live stream. So make sure you stick around. And if you wanna show me some love on Twitch, come on through. Here's my Twitch information. And as I said before, links in the description. Other than that, just wanna say I appreciate you guys for coming through. It's been fun hanging out and I'll catch up with you guys again on the next video. Peace.